Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Node.js project for production with Babel. So first of all, what features do we want from this project? First, we want to write next generation JavaScript. That means we want to use all the latest features of JavaScript and we also want to compile down our code to older version of JavaScript code so that older Node.js versions can understand our JavaScript code. Second thing is absolute import. Now let's see what is relative import. Now when we try to import any file, we try to import from relative to our current file. For example, like this, if you do it multiple times, it can be annoying. So we have a solution which is called absolute import. In absolute import, you set up a specific path in your project and then you always try to import files relative to that specific path. And an example would be like this. This will be our that specific path and we always try to import files relative to this specific path. This is what we call absolute import. Okay, so the third thing that we want is we always want to restart our server automatically for development. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So in here, I'm just going to create our directory mkdir node.js setup. So let's cd into the folder. And now we need to initialize our package.json file. So yarn init dash y. Okay, so now we have our package.json file. Now we need to install some packages. The only dependency I need is the express. So yarn add express. Okay, so Express has been installed. Now we need to install some dev dependencies. I'm just going to paste the command. And this is the command. By the way, all of the commands that I'm going to use in this video will be on the description. So let's install them. Okay, so our packages has been installed. Let's explore the package.json file. I will open that on my text editor. Okay, so this is our package.json file. We have installed these packages. We have installed Express as our dependency and for our dev dependency we have installed some Babel packages. Babel is just a compiler that will compile down our JavaScript code. This is the command line package. This is the Babel core package, Babel node and this is Babel preset env. And preset env is just a combination of bunch of Babel plugins. Babel has tons of plugins and that's how Babel works and we have Babel plugin module resolver which will allow us to write absolute import and we have nodemon nodemon will automatically restart our dev server so now we need to create some scripts so scripts we need three script first one is the dev script now we want nodemon to start our dev server but before that, we want to compile down our code with Babel. So we need to pass a flag dash dash exec, then Babel node. And now we need to give a file path for our source code, which will be src slash index.js. And now we need a build script. Now to build our code, we are going to use Babel, so Babel, and then we need to specify a path for our source code, which is src, and now we need to pass our dash t flag, and we also need to specify our directory where we want to store our build code, which is build. Now Babel will automatically create our build directory if it doesn't find any. Then we need to create a start script which will be used to start our server based on our build code. We want to use node, not nodemon. Then our entry file, which is build slash index.js. Okay, so these are the scripts that we needed. Let's save the file. And Prettier has just formatted the code for me. By the way, if you want to learn how to set up ESLint Prettier with TypeScript and React, I have a video about it. The principles that I've showed in that video also applies if you want to use ESLint Prettier with Node.js. So I would highly recommend you to check that out. 
I will put the link on the description. Okay, so now we need to create a Babel config file in order to be able to work. So at the root of our project, I will create a file dot Babel RC. And now I will just paste the configuration because it isn't too much. So this is the configuration. We have created a preset array and this array contains the names of the preset that we want to use. We want to use preset env and we have a plugins array and this array is consists of subarrays and each subarray will contain two items. First one is the plugin name which is module resolver then our configuration object. So we have a root array and this root is the specific path that I've talked about for absolute import. So we have specified dot slash src which will store our source code. Okay, so let's save the file. Now let's create our source code. So at the root of our project, I will create src directory and inside src, I will create a file index.js. So let's open that up. Now here I want to create a simple node.js express server. I will paste the code because I don't want to waste your time. All right, so this is the code that we need. We have imported express from express and you can also see that I am using ES6 module system instead of required syntax. Then we have initialized the express app and we have created a port variable which will be equals to process.env.port. If that's not available, we will have 8000 and process.env.port is an environment variable which will be available by our production server. If you want to learn more about environment variables, I have a video on it. I will put the link on the description. Then we have created a simple route slash subscribe, which will just send a response, like, share and subscribe to Q's coding. Don't forget to do so. And we are listening to our server, passing the port and our callback function will just do a console log server listening on port. Okay, so let's save the file. To run the dev server, just type yarn dev. Okay, so server listening on 8000. And also if I go to localhost 8000 slash subscribe, then I should see the text. Okay, so you can see that like, share and subscribe to Q's coding. So our route is really working. Now I want to test the absolute import feature. So inside the source directory, I will create another directory, which will be models. Now inside the models directory, I will create a file user.js. Now from this file, I'm just going to export an object, export default which will have a name property and name will be my name on John. And again, inside the source directory, I will create another directory called utils. And inside the utils, I will create a file print dot js. Now in here, I'm just going to import the user object that I've created inside the models directory. So import user from if we use relative import then we have to go one step back then go to models then user this is a relative import and this could be annoying if you do it multiple times so we are going to use absolute import so I will comment this line so if we use absolute import we don't need this dot dot slash we can do just type model slash user and I'm just going to export a function export default an error function which will just console log the user and inside index.js I'm just going to import the print function import print from utils slash print and also I don't need to add the extension while importing and now I'm just going to call the print function and let's save the file and node bond should automatically restart our server 
Okay, so node1 has restarted our server and the user object has been printed. So our absolute import is really working. And if I refresh the page, same text as before. So our route is also working. Okay, so everything is working fine. Let's quit the server. Now let's build our code with yarn build. Okay, so Babel has compiled our code. So we can just type yarn start to start our server based on the build code and same output as before. Also for the route. So let's see what we have on our build directory. So inside the build directory, you can see that the same folder structure as our source code. So let's open up the index.js. And as you can see that this code, nothing like our source code it is using older version of JavaScript. So our project is really working. And that's what I wanted to show you. And uh, this is how you can set up a Node.js project for production with Babel. But before I end this video, let me give you a quick shameless plug. We can solve the imposter syndrome problem by sharing our stupid thoughts and failure stories openly. So I have developed a social media application called Confession and it is also an open source application. You can also like post, comment post, you can also upload pictures, you can also set up your profiles, you can also follow others. And it also has a simple news feed. So it has almost everything that a social media application needs. So please give it a try. I will put the link on the description. And also you are very welcome to contribute to this project. So if the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please comment down below. You can also reach out to me on any social media like LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram as that on John. And I will see you in the next video.